Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on problem solving using concrete materials. Using concrete materials is one option we can use to solve problems. This method allows us to see what is going on with the problem. It is very useful for visual learners. Example 1. Four squares are constructed side by side using matchsticks. Each square shares at least one common match with the adjacent square. How many matchsticks are used? So here's our first square here, obviously with four matchsticks. And then the next square here, that shares this matchstick here, and it also shares this matchstick with that square. So that's what we mean by each square shares at least one common match. So in other words, it can share one match like this square does, or can it, sh it can share two matches like this square does. So here are our squares, and there are four of them. If you can see here, there are four of them. The question is, how many matchsticks are used? So if you take this square here, that one, you can clearly see there are four matchsticks. For this next square here, one, two, three. So we put three down. For this square here, one, two, three. There are the three. And for this square here, one, two, three. So if you add all those numbers up, <coughs> excuse me, you'll get 13 matchsticks. So what a, a beautiful way of doing this problem. Okay, um, you can just use your concrete materials, which means things you can see, things you can handle, and it helps you solve the problem. Example two, 14 marbles are shared equally between four people, and the remainders are put to one side. How many marbles does each person receive, and how many remainders are there? Now, there are 14 marbles altogether. So here are the four people. Okay. So if we give three marbles to each person, see there, that makes 12 altogether. And then we have two left. So to answer the question, they get three each. And the remainder, there are two of them. Example three. Bill has three rows of four apples, with four apples in each row. So there's one, two, three rows. Each row has four apples. That's what that's saying. Sue has six rows of oranges, with five oranges in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. There are five oranges in each row. You can see clearly that Bill has 12 apples and Sue has 30 oranges. The question says, how many pieces of fruit are there altogether? Well, to get the number of fruits that Bill has, that is the number of apples, that's just 3 times 4. Okay, that gives you 12. So there's the 12. And here we have 6 times 5. So for the oranges, we have 6 times 5, that gives you 30. 12 plus 30 gives you 42 pieces. You can see that by using the concrete materials, that is materials you can see and feel, it just helps you solve the problem. Example 4. Four dice are placed on a table. What is the total sum of all the dots on the four dice? Here are the four dice. Solution. Consider one die, that's the singular of dice. The actual word dice is plural, but we're just going to consider one. So let's just consider this one here. The sum of the numbers are 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. So when you add those up, that gives you 21. Since you have four dice, you just go 4 times 21, and that gives you 84. See, so you can visualize what's going on and it helps you solve the problem. Example 5. How many matchsticks are needed to make two squares and three triangles? The squares share one common match. The triangles don't share common matches. The squares and triangles are separated. So firstly, you have two squares. Here they are. 
That's the common match they share. There it is there. The triangles, you've got three of those, one, two, three. They do not share any common matches. And the squares are separated from the triangles. So, for the squares, for this first one here, you've got four. One, two, three, four. And for the second one, that's an extra three. Because you've got one, two, three. So that gives you seven. There are your seven matches. The triangle's easy. Three, six, nine. Seven plus nine is sixteen. So that's the answer. The total matchsticks needed are sixteen. Can you see how this is a very handy way to solve problems when it's suitable? Because you can see what's going on. By using concrete materials, you can see them you can touch them, you can manipulate them. And that is very, very helpful when you're solving problems.